<clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, hi guys. Uh, anyone there? check the sound um, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna wait a little bit for you guys to join the chat uh, <clears throat> guys so um yes the sound is clear right i think just give me a uh, thumbs up here just for me to know if this uh, if the sound is okay uh, my webcam is not working uh i need to check this but you don't need to to, <laughs> you don't need to look at my face, right? Just need to look at the shorts. So this is my Twitter, and uh, if you have been following me, you know that I I have a, a bearish bias. Right? I have posted. Uh, this was yesterday. I was counting. Oopsie, no, sorry. This was my my count. Yes. This was my count. I have a, I had a W, and then I would have an X, and then a Y here. Okay. This count here, it's invalidate now. Okay. Why? B here, it's just, just so out of the range that I would allow for a a, a B that it can't be really. I can't count this way any longer, okay? So then I said, okay, but uh, in my technical analysis, this was the video yesterday. I said that it could be higher. It could be, it, it could go to those regions here, yeah? and it did. It did. Yes, <clears throat> and we have this inverted head and shoulder. Yes, is inverted head sh head and shoulder played out like? nice credits to my friend high temper that pointed out it to me oh where is it let me just open try to open this short here and it's easier to show you guys here okay this is head and shoulder okay inverted the hand and shoulder it's playing out nicely right we break out of the the, the neckline and it we are going up okay this is this neck this head and shoulder pattern here is showing to me that we are kind of going to meet this 200 ma here this is the daily chart okay um why based on this on this let me take this out huh? this is the the length of the head Okay, we take the length of the head and we put here, starting at the neckline, and here we have the an estimate, okay, of where it should go. And I think that we are gonna um, challenge this 200 DMA. Okay, this is my 200 DMA, as you can see here, the white one. So, uh, what happens after that? Okay, what happens in this count here? Okay. Uh, the way that I see here, we have a truncated fifth wave. Okay, it is an inverted head and shoulder. We have our truncated fifth wave. The, okay, and then we are going up. Okay, uh, different way. This is the one hour chart, the same chart. Okay, this the same chart that we have here. I have it here, but this is a one hour chart, and I'm gonna analyze it. Okay, 
I'm al allowing this is first of all this is a bullish view okay a bullish view uh, this we would have uh, our this is our higher degree one two three four five our fifth wave would be truncated okay and then we would have a one two three four five uh, it's not the clearest motive wave ever because this tree has just uh, touched the the resistance and pulled a little bit back it has retraced a bit for our four and we have a extended wave five it's possible okay uh, it's within the Elliott wave principle okay so then we would have our first this would be our first wave one this would be our motive impulse wave one then we would need to wait for this wave two for then go up again and see what's going on okay um, if, we, if we get to this region this region now that I have I have this red box here it's our previous resistance right that we tried to break and then we broke okay we broke yesterday and now it's acting as a support if we are to consider this a bullish scenario we need to we trace to this region here okay I'm counting as 50% but it can go it can break we can have a week piercing through this the support okay through this red box here and going up okay going up to this minus 61 80 percent I'm using this algo targets here sorry let me put this back here okay and then we trace a little bit and then we have the 100 minus 100 percent as our fifth wave okay then we would have uh, something like this here, let me show you the waves okay something like this okay we wouldn't we need to have a, a third wave uh, an extended third wave yes actually I would need to get here to have the proper yes this would be better. Yeah. Um, so this is one this is my bullish count guys okay if and only if okay we let me okay sorry if we go down here test this previous resistance and we bounce out of it okay this is a, it's a previous resistance now acting as a support okay we need to go down as an ABC and go up to this minus 6180 retrace a bit okay depending on it's the alternate uh, rule here okay depending on how much and how uh, how deep we go in this waves this wave two here we are gonna have a different wave four here I, I expect something a flat correction here okay then we have our minus 100% okay this is an estimate okay a, 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 an estimate this is not a uh, absolute values okay because I don't have enough data not yet for it to be consistent okay let me take this waves out what we need to wait is this retracement i do believe that we are retracing i i think it's a bit it's simple right we just go to the <clears throat> to the daily chart let's see this is the not i'm sorry this is a wos okay daily chart and this is my bro okay not this daily chart i have another one here i'm sorry this is our daily chart we are indeed approaching uh the 70 the 70 uh, rsi right the daily we don't have this line anymore okay so eh, it's difficult i think we're gonna have a little a little decline here until we break this rsi this is, this line here that we have the 70 RSI okay but we need to be prepared because we might as well just go up here and this one is we would need to reconsider this count okay I this is the region that I'm looking for not only me but I feel I, I feel that the volume volume profile is also telling me that 
this region is interesting okay so this region this the, the previous resistance now acting as support and we have this abc okay so this is my bullish count okay bullish count simple as it is this is the, let me take my fib, fib retracement if we are to if we retrace we can obviously bitcoin has has shown either shallow waves too or deep waves too but at least 23 60 percent right so at least 7200 guys at least okay a really sharp correction like we can't even discern the abc you know it's normal it happens in the bitcoin or a really deep too you can go like this okay a really deep 786 okay we have seen bitcoin retracing to those levels okay um and uh so then we need to take care we need to pay attention now at those uh what bitcoin is gonna do if it's gonna retrace to 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 what extent bitcoin is gonna retrace okay because it's pretty clear that it's gonna retrace uh at least for the next day for the next few days it's gonna retrace okay um if it doesn't we have one more leg to go right it's gonna eventually it if we have one more leg to go like seven six we are gonna retrace you're gonna we are gonna have a week here but we are gonna retrace right after that okay just like we did right we we, we got to the 76 here was our highest point <clears throat> 76 but we retraced right away right yeah this was our highest point okay and we retraced just after that yeah so this is my bullish count okay this is not my primary count why because I need to be I need more data okay this is my whole this is my whole view of the this is the daily chart and the whole count considering this is the log it's logarithmic and this is what I'm considering for Bitcoin okay we had this first sharp correction of our fifth our 20k and then we have on our our a b c a b b c d e okay as I have said in a previous uh, stream, we, we can have uh, A, B, C, D, E inside of an E, okay? It's common. When we are extending our correction, we can have an A, B, C, D, E. Something like this, inside of the correction, okay? But then we would have an, our, our A starting here. And then we would have our B, okay? and c d and e okay oh but why why akumado crypto why you are not pushing why are not uh doing this and then we would have break the would have break this line because the triangle shape the triangle a b c d e is starting here it's starting after this a not before it this is the beginning of the flat correction okay not here this was a sharp correction so then i start here okay that's why if you are wondering why i am drawing this this up line here this 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 blue line here the the the, the, the top line of the triangle that's because of it okay so don't be tempted though to to imagine that we have finished okay we need data we need to really we might go as high as let me take this out a bit we might go as high as yes we might go as high as um seven seven eight hundred and it is still a b here we need to really break out of this triangle really break out of it to consider it as a as a 
as a breakout, okay? And then we would have finished this E here, would have finished this correction, okay? And it would go up, okay? How much? It's gonna be like not 20K tomorrow, 20K in one week, no. It's gonna take a while, okay? It's gonna take some time for it to finish the correction, okay? And as I said, we have time to correct. We have reached 50 per, uh, we have reached 25% of the time of the, that of the time that we spent in this impulse wave. Relative to this impulse wave, the amount of days that we have been correcting is 213 days. Okay? So it is 25%. Is it's, it's we expect at least 24%. So it's not wrong. It's not um unusual if we finish now the correction okay i am i am taking into consideration that that it might happen okay that that's that could be the end of the correction okay cool because we have this inverted we're head and shoulder we have this truncated fifth a truncated fifth um uh, is wait a second here we have in the book what what uh they what is said about truncated fifths Okay, here. Truncated, truncated waves extend your truncated fifths as any diagonals all imply the same thing. Dramatic reversal ahead. Hmm. Dramatic reversal ahead. If we allow for this truncated fifth wave, we have a dramatic reversal ahead. So, this might mean, that, yes, this could imply that this truncated, if this is a truncated fifth, we have a dramatic reversal ahead. Okay, it's not me saying, it's the book. Elliot Waves, Elliot Waves Principle. Pr principle, okay? Um, okay, but let's talk about a different count here that I have. It's a bearish count, okay? Let's imagine that, okay, everything is beautiful, but we are not yet finished. We haven't finished this yet, okay? We are actually finishing this wave four here. Okay, I, I have changed this a little bit. Okay, um, I am following some of my friends in my Discord. Okay, so I am changing. I am a, I am considering this as a wave three. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then we need to finish this higher degree here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have this four. I don't like this four. I don't think it's symmetrical or the geometry of this movement here is correct. But okay, uh, what I am, what I am um, using here, it's a leading diagonal here A, but it's a corrective leading diagonal. Okay, one, two, three, four, five is a three, 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 three. If you have been following me, you you know that I have mentioned this pattern before. It's this a uh, leading diag corrective leading diagonal. It's possible. It's it's uh, in this case it's a, a corrective pattern, not an impulse, not a impulse pattern, not a, a actionary pattern. Okay. Then we have our A here. Then our B. This wave B here is strange. It does look like a wave, uh, an impulse wave, but I am allowing it. Okay, I am opening my mind for this count here. Okay, this would be our four here, and we are in a really serious dangers of invalidating this count. Why? Because we retraced 50%, but we are still here. <laughs> what usually happens when we retrace, what is the personality of a wave four? It's a flat correction, okay? What is a flat correction? It's a triangle shaped, it's a it's a it's a sideways correction okay uh, we have something like like this this is a wave four you see we touch the 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 resistance but then we pull back we touch it and then we pull back i don't know if we have this as a this is this huge uh this huge buy pressure here you see it doesn't look like a wave four doesn't look like a way for it's difficult okay um, i am uh, i am inclined to be 
on the bearish side but it's difficult to count like this based on this count here alone okay we have this wave c here it's a okay it's let's measure it it's 127 percent right we, we, we consider this as our wave a uh, wait a sec this is our fib retracement tool a here at the end of the a b here, here we have it okay we we traced we extended 127 20 percent okay if we this is our wave c it's not an uncommon place for wave c to retrace okay and then we would go down okay we would go down and this would mean that uh considering my my count here we would finish this would be our a but this is really weird okay this would be our our e would finish here hmm. this is really making the count diff this is making our count really difficult we don't need to finish our a here but how can we finish our a here if we have a tree uh, a third wave here not a fifth so we need to we need we need yet to finish this fifth wave so in the in the daily chart this doesn't make sense in the daily chart this count is weird the geometry of this count is weird so this bearish count i'm saying guys i i, I need to just i need to to give you guys that if you are a a, a bull i give you that that <laughs> it's difficult to reconcile this wave four with this count here which is uh, undeniable i think this is pretty clear what's happening right we have a sharp correction then we have a flat correction okay an a b c d e clear wave four why wave four because we have triangles in uh, it's it's the personality of a wave four not a personality of a wave two okay um hmm. so this is my bearish count but i do think that we uh, that i am i am more inclined to this bullish count okay until we see, until i see something else until i see something like um i don't know something breaking down here and challenges low is low and we have a lot of volume okay a lot of volume this is one hour but our our daily chart here with this inverted head and shoulder shows us that we had volume and we have yet uh more place more ground to cover to reach this this prediction of the inverted head and shoulder right the the length of the head here so we have we have yet to cover we, we have yet to all to walk until we get to this 200 ema and get rejected perhaps we get rejected perhaps we won't we don't okay but if i allow for this truncated fifth wave remember this truncated fifth wave here i am allowing it for it and then we would complete this correction here this way this e a here here then we would mean that we have a trend reversal a dramatic trend reversal as the book says okay i like to fifth wave extension truncated fifths and then then i goes i'll imply the same thing dramatical reversal ahead so this if this is a truncated fifth wave which is uh more um more symmetrical in terms of geomet the geometry of the count the, the geometry of the movement okay so then we have yes we have a bullish uh, i need to to say that we have we might have a bullish reversal uh, as the beginning he, here wave one is never never uh, clear okay the, the first wave of a uh, impulse of a higher degree impulse wave it's never clear because the market is it's really trying to understand itself and then we suddenly we have a wave three that challenges everything and go to like 8k okay that might happen 
Okay, I like to say that wave wave one is never. This is in the theory. Uh, this is in the Elliott wave principle. Wave one always comes after a really nasty bearish market. And we have a truncated fifth wave here. If we allow this to be a truncated fifth wave, it's not wrong. I am counting and using the, the Elliott wave principle here, and I'm not breaking any rules. So if this is a truncated fifth, this would give us uh, a lot of uh, steam to go up. Because it's a truncated fifth wave implies that we failed to go lower. That this motive impulse wave here down, this motive impulse wave down failed to to challenge this low here that we put in our third wave. This is what happens when we have a truncated fifth wave. Then we have this dramatic reversal. If we have indeed a reversal trend change, it's too soon to say. We have this, uh, this daily chart here to help us. And we have this inverted head and shoulder as well. We are now uh, challenge the 100 EMA. This is daily, okay. And I see that uh, 21 is curving. So, what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys have different counts, different ideas? I would like to hear what you guys have to say. I want, I want to see what you got, guys. Yes, it's um, it's nice. It's it's a. Uh, if we have a trend reverse, it's gonna be a beautiful thing as well, right? So, what do you guys think? Do you guys have different charts, different ideas? Um, tell me. If you guys don't have questions, I'm gonna wrap up here because that's... Uh, it's it's gonna be really easy to to play this this movement if we go up. Hope seven point eight max. Yeah, yeah seven point eight. By the way, he's ex yes, it's good be here is our two hundred EMA. Yes, seven eight hundred. Yes, and then we would go down, perhaps. Yes, we need we need some sort of retracement before anything we need some sort of retracement okay for for the next couple of days we need some sort of retracement that's what i am looking for yes yeah this is crazy because come on this movement right crazy movement uh, this is a, a motive impulse wave we need to, cor to we need to correct it now okay after an impulse wave we need some kind of correction of course, Bitcoin is not going to tell us, oh, I am correcting. No, that's not how the market works. Th this is going to take some time here and get more people. People are going to FOMO in, you know, oh, nice, it's going up. I'm going to jump in the, uh, I'm not going to lose this, this, uh, this trend reverse or this, this bull run. So then they're going to buy, 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 but then we see that the whales are gonna dump okay that's what i think it's it, this is what happens okay <clears throat> then we have a retracement a correction here okay if we have this as a if we have this as a truncated fifth and a bull market okay bull market yes it's what is gonna happen <laughs> it's still pump hmm it will still pump. Yes, it's possible, right? We have this neckline here. I'm sorry, we have this, the length of the the head here. We can go as high as 800, 8,000. Yeah, most logical thing is to retrace now, but BTC is BTC. Yes, that's true, guys. Yes, uh, 15 minute charts. Okay, let me take a look at this 15 minute chart. Which one I'm gonna use? This one here. Yes, yes, they are talking about this, right? They are talking about this pattern here. This pattern here and this pattern here now. 
right? Yes, you have a point. Okay. 50 minus shards. It's not identical, but it's almost the same fractal. Yeah, it's like a... Uh, uh, it's not a bull flag, this. Bull flag would means on big... I am on bitmax shard, okay. Bitmax shard, whatever. This is bit phoenix, okay. Um, but it, it's almost identical, okay. 15 meter shards, yes. But we have challenged this low here. We have room to go up. Yeah. We have this double, not double top here. Yeah, one more leg up. RSI, yes, RSI showing strength, yes, we have this, you see this heating, this is a heating bullish divergence, right, it, RSI is showing, uh, it's going lower and the chart is going up, this is a heating bullish divergence, you guys see it? Yeah, you see, this is a bullish heating divergence, okay? The RSI is going down here at the bottom. Not really going down, but now, right? Just, just two ticks here. And here at the start of this, it's going down, you see, and the chart is going up. We have higher lows at the chart here, and the... And the RSI is ticking down, yeah, it's, it's showing lower lows. So we have a bullish divergence here. So if we have some kind of a, let's assume that we have some kind of a, we have finished this and if we are to assume some kind of a, of a Elliott wave count, we haven't finished wave three here. And we are going to have like a really shallow retracement here. Okay. And then we go up again. It's possible. Okay. But crypto pause. Yes. It's, we have a bullish divergence here. Okay. A bullish divergence. So which this is a 15 minute chart, but yes, pay attention guys. If it, if it keeps going, if it, if it keeps divergent like this, it's, it's a, it's a nice sign of uh, that we might have uh, another another push push upwards. Okay, a lot of altcoins are holding their value. Yeah, ETP. I'm trading ETP. I'm I'm waiting for ETP to go down. By the way, but it's not going down. I'm waiting for sh because I want to short it. It has. If you trade on Phoenix. ETP has uh, has increased 25%. This is a lot, man. This is a one, one hour chart. I, I see some hitting. This is a hitting bullish divergence as, as well, right? You see? Hitting bullish divergence. It, the, the, a lower, low, higher lows and lower lows here on the RSI. What do you guys think? Hmm. I think we have more to come here. Yes, it's um, it's gonna be amazing. I, you are right. I think we have one more leg up. If you consider this thing here, one more leg up. Not not to eight k, but to seven nine hundred, perhaps. Yes. This is a hitting bullish divergence, guys. This is a hitting bullish divergence, okay? A series of higher high, higher lows and a series, uh, two, actually, only two lower lows on the RSI. So the RSI is supporting this idea of we going up, okay? Um, <laughs> the, and we have this, we have yet room to we are not one leg up to seven, six, seven, six, seven hundred. You meant uh, seven to seven hundred, right? Yeah, you, you you have 
we have a, a, a bearish divergence as well, yes? But <laughs> because we have a, a lower high here and we have a higher high here, yes? A lower di uh, bearish divergence is also possible if you you can't you can have both both ways in this case here 15 minutes okay because you have this here right and we have the short uh, I would if I'm not in this trade guys I'm not gonna trade here not and I don't recommend you guys trading here either why because it's too risky really really risky because it's, it can go it, it can go either way but if i would say i would say that's gonna go down because of this bearish divergence okay this bearish divergence it's is more significant because we, we are not really going up if we have one more push up here we we, we need some kind of a yes this bearish divergence is not really a bearish divergence. You see, we, we don't have a, a, a new higher high. It's not a bearish divergence. So we need to wait. We need to wait and see, but it's really risky to enter a long now. I wouldn't enter a long now, of course not. I would wait to enter a short as well. Okay, because what I would say Okay, I would wait for this retracement here. That, that that's what we can do now. If we are not in a trade, and if you if you are in a profit, take your profit, okay, or add more to your position. Okay, uh, wait a second, AT. Uh, I would wait for this retracement to enter along. Okay, if this, if you see a lot of strength here, or you can start entering before it, like 38, 20%, because wave two, right? If this is a bullish reversal, we are gonna see a lot of strength to to not go, uh, to not, we are gonna see a lot of resistance uh, of buyers here to go down again to this resistance, that this previous resistance and now a support. So then that's that's going to be really difficult. I would start buying here at 23, 60%, 38, 20% and I would ladder my buys. This is my green box here. Ladder our buys, guys. Okay, one here, 20%, 20%, 20%, you know, start laddering here. You know, start laddering here. 20% here, I don't know, perhaps one here, and then 20% here, then 30, then 50% of your position here, and then you put your stop loss like here, or even lower, like 8, 8 70%. If it, if it goes down there, I would actually stop loss, okay? That's it. This is one of the, one way of playing this I wouldn't play now that we are at the top of a, after a nasty, beautiful actually, after a beautiful surging price, I wouldn't, I am out of the, the I, I, I'm not gonna enter a position now. We need to wait. You can't be so confident that this is going up. Okay, based on this, because this is a daily chart. We, we, until we finish this, it, it can take days. It can, it can takes like uh, three days to finish and get to this seven to eight hundred. Before that, we have a reaction here, uh, a correction. Okay. Um, uh, what about the bearish divergence from wave three to wave five? Bearish divergence. You mean here, right? Wave three, this is 15 minutes, okay? I don't like to see bearish divergence when we have something like this, okay? Now we are, it's clear. Yes, we have a, we have a higher high here. We have a tree here that was lower, you see? 
and a higher high here at the RSI. Now we are seeing some bearish divergence. Now, because we are uh, having us, we had a higher high here, we had uh, a higher high here, and we had a higher high here at price, but a lower low here, uh, a lower high. Sorry, at the RSI. It's it's showing some bearish divergence here. Okay, it's showing. This is one hour. Okay. One hour we see some bearish divergence here. But I think that we might have one more leg up. This is possible, okay? Something like this. One more leg up here and down. And another leg up here, you see? And a bearish divergence here. Because we would have a higher high here and a lower high here. And then we would like have a really clear bearish divergence and then we would retrace okay that is a possibility of course okay what do you guys think do you have any ideas suggestions uh, different um any regards otherwise i'm gonna wrap up this thing here I think we had a lot of uh, information. Uh, I have covered a lot of ground. Talking about a bearish scenario, a bullish scenario, different ideas. Yes, it's always uh, it's always messy, isn't it? We need to <laughs> with Bitcoin. We need to keep our eyes open. It's not as easy as trading stock markets guys if you want something easier go to the stock markets it's a really nice place to learn guys stock markets i would say that crypto is uh, it's a, a a higher level of of uh, difficulty okay crypto is it's not that easy and and you have more time you have more data in stock markets What's your percent of it breaking 8k? Mm, I can't tell you. <laughs> Seriously. Breaking 8k now, I would say for the next few hours or for this day. Hmm, I, I, I can't tell you a percentage. I, I can't. I'm not. A, I am forecasting this. I'm not really predicting anything we traders we need to remember one important thing let me show you guys one important this is a really awesome trader this guy here where, where is him this guy here he's an awesome trader peter brandt it does not bother me to be wrong on a trade i expect to be wrong on at least 50 percent of all trades it's it is ratio of win size to loss size size that really matters yes guys so if you are if you enter in a position that you know that is risky and this guy is a really experienced trader i am mentioning him because come on right we need to be humble not like all of the others uh crypto investors out there they they seem to be like oh i i know everything i i don't know everything guys I have a lot of questions and they have and they have the same questions as well but they don't say they 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 try to look like they know everything. I don't know everything. I am like you guys. I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Okay? And we need to be humble and learn and believe that yes, 50% of the time I'm going to be wrong. Oh, but this is like chance. This is like a throw of a coin. Yes. It is. It's like throwing a coin. Sometimes it's we need to accept this. It's not me saying. It's another traders and a lot of books that I have read <laughs> about statistics and about uh, investors. If you go and look for different, um, if you go and really, really read uh, about ratio of of uh, ratio of uh, right predictions on stock markets you're gonna see that's not as high as 60 percent 60 percent is the guys that really nail it all the time 60 percent 
I'm talking about Warren Buffett. Okay, I'm talking about millionaires. And they and even those guys, they got broken. Not once but twice. Okay? I'm talking about go and read their his, their story. Okay, they they try to they are always changing their methods and they are trying. Okay, it's 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 expected to lose. Okay, because we you are competing against other people that's trying to 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 make money as well, make more. Okay, that's my piece of device. That's one of my piece of device that I think is the most important because we need to understand that we are here to lose as well. Okay, to not get all the to not get all our forecasts right. Okay. Um, that's it. I think that's an uh, important thing to remember. Don't f don't go for calls, guy. Don't don't buy calls. Don't enter in groups for calls. Try to be your own master, okay? And understand the charts. And if you get it wrong, it's your own fault, not someone else's, okay? Be be, be self self sufficient. You know, in this matter that. Okay, I'm going to listen to other people, but I have my opinion and I'm going to see if I'm right or wrong. Or to what extent am, am I right or wrong? Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you very much for your, for your support. Um, if you have questions, requests, uh, everything, um, you can always ask me. You can send me a message. Uh, through my Twitter and you can please you join me here uh, subscribe to my Twitch TV uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and so I'm gonna post this video on my YouTube channel and as always enjoy our trades guys that's why we are here right thank you very much bye bye cheers <laughs>